Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the Motorola Click XT doing a quick demo of Cyanogen Mod for the XT. Um, this was done by FK Coder at simplyandroid.com. So let's take a quick demo of how this works. As you can see, this is running the stock Freo lock screen, and we're just going to slide to unlock here. And then we're, we see that beautiful uh, debug bug. <laughs> um, and it's pretty much running a Launcher Pro in the background here, and it's pretty snappy. Um, let's slow that up. As you can see, this is, this is really snappy. It's fast. It's nice. It runs amazingly well, um, except for a few bugs, of course. Um, the first bug that you can see, the phone is fully charged right now, so the notifier LED should be uh, on, but the notifier LED isn't working right now. Um, so let's just go through the apps on here and just start from the top. Uh, backflip light. Um, we'll turn on the L camera LED and uh, I probably can't see. But the camera LED does work. I'm just gonna. Okay. As you can see, the orientation changed also. So that works also. <laughs> Um, let's see what else is on here. Uh, the browser works. It'll load. Unfortunately, there's a slight bug, which will be, probably get fixed in the next version of this. Um, it force closes at the end, but uh, that's not a big issue. The camera isn't working right now. It'll just force close when you try to load it. Um, Everything else is pretty much stock Android stuff. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to show you guys. I can show you guys Google Maps and how that works. Um, I guess that proves that data works. Um, pinch to zoom works, uh, as you can see. And everything's loading. I'm not on Wi Fi, I'm on 3G, so that's awesome. Um, it's running the stock dialer here. There are There is a, an issue uh, here with the dialer. Um, there's also an issue with the GPS right now that it isn't working. The only thing that you were seeing there was location via my um, mobile networks. Um, I'll show you the issue with the phone. Uh, the calling issue that was seen with Eclair ROMs is still seen, but it's slightly worse now. So let me just uh, call myself here with my Google Voice. This will get loud, and I apologize for that. See, just hello. Okay. So it automatically, so it automatically brings this the the call to a speakerphone. Unfortunately, uh, as soon as you answer, actually, you can actually hear both parties. Um, unfortunately, the normal speakerphone toggling doesn't let you get onto the normal speaker. I'm just pulling out for a second. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can't get that to work with both parties. Sometimes if you mess around with this, if you just play with them, then both people can hear. Um, usually it requires touching the mute button to get that to work uh, right. Otherwise, the other party just isn't going to hear you. Unfortunately, you can get sound out of the normal head had a uh, normal speaker here unfortunately like i said the other party is just not going to hear you the only the only way to get the other party to hear you is playing with the speakerphone button and the mute button and eventually they hear you it's a matter of just toggling both of them actually uh so that's slightly worse than it was with eclair um otherwise this rom's really snappy everything seems to work pretty decently in it um it's froyo it's beautiful so that's just a quick demo of it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give a lot of thanks to uh, FK Coder for bringing it over for the Click XT and Simply Android for starting the Froyo to Click uh, pretty much movement. Have a great day, guys.